thank you for coming and uh, uh, being what I am, I cannot help but uh, say a few words each time to augment the poetry since I have a captive audience anyway. Uh, if you cannot hear me in the back, Bilal, uh, you'll let me know if you cannot hear me, okay? Uh, Hebrew poetry has been, uh, has been uh, uh, available since biblical times and I won't start with Adam for you. I'll start with the Middle Ages. Uh, one of my uh, favorite poets uh, of the Middle Ages from Al Andalus is a poet by the name of uh, Solomon Ibn Gabirol, uh, one of the most subtle and one of the most uh, complex of poets. And I will read a short poem by him. This is uh, in the category of his sacred poems. Uh, poets of the Middle Ages uh, vied for uh, composing poetry that may, they hoped, uh, be included somehow in uh, liturgical services, and they were for a while, and then they were replaced by others. Uh, this is one of those poems. It, it is a quintessential medieval poem. It uh, is based on the hemistic system, very much influenced by the Arabic poetry of uh, Al Andalus. Uh, to begin with, he glorifies the opening by rhyming the first two hemistics, after which he's going to, of course, only rhyme the ending of the two hemistics, uh, the second one of them all. In order to prevent plagiarism, he creates an, ac an acrostic at the opening uh, of his first name, and of course, uh, nobody is allowed to touch that. Uh, this is, I'll read the first Poem, the first version in Hebrew, and then I'll read the English for you. Uh, it's called Reshut uh, Lenishmat. Shkarticha bechol shachre venishpi ufarasti lecha kapai veapi lecha ema belev tsame veedma ledal shoel aleifitchi vesipi meromot lo yechilucha leshivtach ואולם יש מקומך תוך סייפי, הלא אצפון בלבי שם כבודך, וגבר חשכך עוד יעבור בי. אני על כן אהודה שם מד השם, בעוד נשמת אלוהים חי ואפי. In English it's called, I have sought thee daily, and the poet addresses God. I have sought thee daily at dawn and twilight, I have stretched my hands to thee, turned my face, now the cry of a heart, a, thir a thirst, I will utter like the beggar who cries at my door for grace. The infinite heights are too small to contain thee, yet perchance thou canst niche in the clefts of me. Shall my, shall my heart not treasure the hope to gain thee, or my yearning, yearning fail till my tongue's last plea? Nay, surely thy name I will worship, while breath in my nostrils be. I skip a few centuries, towards a few years, uh, to the end, to the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, the style of poetry changes, strongly influenced by European norms. Uh, the uh, greatest Hebrew poet of the age of the Hebrew Renaissance is uh, by the name of Chaim Nachman Bialik, and in this poem he presents us with a nature poem. It's called Hakayitz Govea, Summer Dies. Hakayitz Govea mitoch zahav achetem umitoch ha'argaman shel shalechet aganim vishel shelavei arbaim ha'mitbosesot bedaman umitroken ha'pardes רק טיילים יחידים וטיילות יחידות יישאו עינם הנוהה אחרי מעוף האחרונה בשיירות החסידות. ומתייתם הלב עוד מעט ויום סגריר על החלון יתאבק בדממה. בדקתם נעליכם, תילתם אדרתכם, צאו אחינו תפוחי אדמה. In English, summer dies. The summer dies in gold and amber purple mass of falling leaves in gardens and sunset clouds that tumble in their blood. 
The orchard empties, only lone men, one or two girls, watch with yearning eyes the last long flight of storks in gathering flocks. The heart is orphaned. Soon rain will tap the window. Have you checked your winter shoes, mended jackets? Go get the potatoes in. Women come to Hebrew poetry only with the, primarily at the end of the 19th century and most at the, in the 20th century. By now, most poets in the, who write Hebrew poetry are women. Uh, one of the earliest and uh, one of the most uh, appreciated is Leah Goldberg, who also served as a professor of comparative uh, literature at the Hebrew University. Uh, this is a poem that she writes about her uh, mother and grandmother. It is called Mi Beit Imi, From My Mother's House. Beta Ima Shelimi, Ba'aviv Yamea, Uvita Lo Zachra Et Panea, Diokna Hacharut Al Libo Shel Savi, Nimcha Meolam Hadmuyot, Achrei Moto, Rak Har Ishela Nishtayer Vabait, העמיק מרוב שנים במשבצת הכסף, ואני נכדתה החיוורת, שאינני דומה לה, מביטה היום אל תוכו, כאל תוך אגם, הטומן עוצמותיו מתחת למים. עמוק מאוד, מאחורי פניי, אני רואה אישה צעירה, ורודת לחיים, מחייכת, ופאה נוכרית לראשה, היא עונדת, הגיל מוערך אל תנוך אוזנה, משחילת הוא, בנקב זעיר, בבשר הענוג של האוזן. עמוק מאוד, מאחורי פניי, קורנת זהובית בהירה של עיניה, והראי ממשיך את מסורת המשפחה, שהיא הייתה יפה מאוד. From my mother's home. <coughs> my mother's mother died in the spring of her days, and her daughter did not remember her face. Her portrait engraved in my grandfather's heart was struck from the world of images after his death. Only her mirror remains, sunk deeper with age into its silver frame, and I, her pale granddaughter, who do not resemble her, peer into it today as if it were a pool hiding its treasures under the water. Deep, deep beyond my face, I see a young woman pink-cheeked and smiling, a wig on her head. She's putting a long earring into the lobe of her ear, threading it through a tiny hole in the delicate flesh. Deep, deep beyond my face shines her eyes bright gold. The mirror carries on the family tradition that she was beautiful. <coughs> uh, many poets in the early 20th century, the first few decades, were very strongly influenced by the Russian uh, back to the earth movement, a love of nature, an adoration of nature, and a desire and a call upon everyone to return to agrarian lifestyles. Uh, one of the great poets of the day of the post World War I age is a poet by the name of Avraham Shlonsky, and I read a short poem by him. Uh, Oved Adama, Tiller of the Soil. Gamal umachreshet, Alahav hechad, Hafred mitiagea, Ben regev le regev. Meodon lo haya haolam ko echad, Vichol han tsachim chavukim toch arega. Ze remez le retzach, Ze lahav nidchak. Ze kain, achdut she baregev mavkia. מעולם לא היה כמעט המרחק בין אדם וגמל ורקיע. This is one of my favorite poems. Uh, Pillar of the soil, camel and plow, the sharp blade wearies, cleaving clod from clod. Never before was the world so one, all eternities in that moment joined. This is hint of murder, this is plunged blade, this is Cain, who splits the clod's unity. Never before was the distance so small between man and camel in sky.